in normal starboard aft. Pins in, toes clear. Normal starboard aft. Good. Launch coordinator bridge, you have permission to launch the cell. Roger that bridge. You guys ready? You get into the water and all of a sudden you can feel it moving with the ocean and you see blue all around you and it's just an amazing feeling. Everyone's really excited to have Alvin back. It's been a key part of our science in the deep ocean and on this expedition we're trying to build up tools that are going to help people who've never used the sub before learn how it works, plan expeditions, and complete excellent science. Every five years or so, Alvin gets upgraded, and this was, this was a major upgrade that allows us to go deeper, not only deeper into the depths of the ocean, but deeper into our scientific questions. We really want Alvin to be accessible to everyone, so we've brought out a group of early career scientists from different backgrounds, different locations, different career stages, and really tried to show them how they could use Alvin in their future research. Diving in Alvin was incredible. It gave me a better idea of spatial scale, so of the three-dimensionality of these deep sea habitats. And in making that transect with Alvin, you're able to experience the environment that these organisms live in much more authentically, so you can understand how they're interacting with one another and how they're interacting with that environment. We brought things up and did experiments out here that were not envisioned when we started. But once we saw it could go to the depth, it could do it quickly, it could do it really well, I mean, we were going 54 meters a minute to the seafloor, which is I've never seen before. You know, we launch the sub and we go down six kilometers beneath the surface, and that's something that hasn't happened in Alvin's 50-year history. We came out of a certification set of dives and went straight into doing more science verification dives, and the sub is performing remarkably well. Day in and day out, it's going four miles deep. It's a really smooth operation. It requires a lot of communication, a lot of discussion. It's a huge team effort out here. From the science party, to the Alvin team, to the ship's crew, everyone's been working really hard to make this cruise a success. It's been really phenomenal to see how everyone comes together to achieve what we wanted to out here. We are now again on the frontier of what we can ask. And the rates at which we can just make discoveries are gonna go through the roof.